Hey guys, what's up? It's Kahoob here. So today I'm going to be talking about Fold's intro and premium debit card. So I personally have the premium debit card and I'll be telling you guys my average percentage cash back, my overall general experience with it, and all of that. So now keep in mind that these debit cards are still in early access, so things can change by the time it's publicly released for everyone. All right, so the intro debit card costs a one-time $21 activation fee, while the premium debit card costs $150 a year. So the intro is a plastic card while the premium debit card is metal. Um, as of right now though, they are both plastic due to a metal shortage. And um, I personally chose the premium debit card uh, just to give some perspective for you guys though about this, this $150 fee and, and me choosing the premium debit card is that I have never actually paid a yearly fee for any credit or debit card as I personally do my best to find cards with the least amount of fees and lowest interest rates possible and all of that. Um, but these are debit cards, not credit. And uh, the Fold Premium card is um, actually the first debit card or credit card, wh whatever you want to say, is um, the first one I have ever paid a yearly fee for. So... Um, if we click learn more on the comparisons, we'll see that the premium debit card comes with a $50 Bitcoin signup bonus. And how that works is that you are credited in Satoshis, meaning that you are locked in at the price of whatever Bitcoin is at, um, when you sign up. Uh, and the $50 is paid out monthly. So it's around $4.16 a month. And you also must deposit $500 into your account monthly to get this payout. Um, you do not have to spend the $500, but you just have to deposit it, it into your account monthly. So, for example, um, I signed up for the premium debit card while the bit, um, while Bitcoin was at 19000 So, um, to do the math, uh, we can see that um, if I take, let's just say... Um, to do, well, okay. So to do the math to figure out what um, your signup bonus is worth currently uh, in like later months, um, you would take the current price of Bitcoin, divide it by what the price of Bitcoin was when you signed up, and times it by four dollars and sixteen cents. So for me, it would be thirty-seven thousand divided by nineteen thousand because Bitcoin currently is at thirty-seven thousand, and I signed up at nineteen thousand, and we would times it by four dollars and sixteen cents. And that gives eight dollars and ten cents. Um, so now, if we take that and times it by twelve, that's ninety-seven dollars and twenty-one cents. So we can see that my fifty-dollar Bitcoin sign-up bonus is now worth ninety-seven dollars. And so it's the for me personally, my Bitcoin deposit bonus ha has almost already paid back the yearly fee. Um, all right. So I've been using the premium card since November. So um, there has been some confusions with um, what 3% average spin rewards rate on purchases means. So let me clear some things up and make it easier to understand for you guys how the percentage cashback is done and what 3% back in average means. So when you use the card for a purchase, you will get a notification for a spin wheel to get a prize on the purchase you just made. So basically you purchase something um, and you uh, get a not notification saying a uh, spin wheel um, like activated or whatever, spin wheel um, reward available. So you go to it and click on the spin wheel, you cl uh, click on it and it spins, and um, then you get whatever reward uh, that, ha that are on the spin wheels. And spin wheels um, last for two weeks, and then a new one comes out. As At least as of now, they might change it, but as of now, it's at every two weeks. It was every one week, but that was too much, so now they're de doing every two weeks. Um, also, if you have the premium debit card, then you will have one hour to spin the wheel while intro users only have five minutes to spin the wheel. And the current wheel actually looks like this. We have the spending boost, um, spending boost, spending boost, but they are um, different payouts and different percentage chances and um, different maximum payout rewards. So, for example, um, the intro and premium for this one is the same. Uh, no matter whether you have the intro or premium, you have a 16% chance of winning this reward on the wheel uh, of 0.25% payout. That's less than 1%, less than half a percent. You know, it's a quarter of a percent. Um, but then they also have um, this uh, this spending boost, which is 19% chance of winning. Premium tier is 1%. Intro is half of that. 
Um, generally, the premium tier is usually double the rewards in the intro. And we can also see that the maximum ARV, so the max, um, if you do like a really big transaction, the most you can get is $12.50 on it, while premium tier is $25. So that is um, also doubled. Um, then this is a 7.5% chance of winning, which is pretty small, but 4% back and then 2% uh, for intro. Uh, then there is also the largest purchase match. Um, so sometimes on the spin wheel, some rewards are kind of confusing. That's also kind of a downside um, to this card. Just uh, And it comes out every two weeks, so you kind of have to relearn each wheel and understand what the prizes mean because um, they're not just single. Like These ones are really easy, right? 2%, 4%, 1%, 5%, 1%. But then it comes to things like largest purchase match. And basically what this is just means it says the largest purchase match prize is awarded. Okay, let's see. So it is multiplied by the USD amount of the largest full debit card purchase in the prior 72 hours. So if you made, if your largest purchase in the last 72 hours was $100, it'd be 100 times 25, and that's paid out in Satoshis. But um, the maximum Satoshis you can earn on this is 25,000 sats. Uh, they also have the fold gift card boost. A lot of people don't really like this one, so they might be getting rid of it. But it's basically if you, uh, isn't this a really high percent chance of winning too? It's 17.49% chance of winning. Uh, you can get 2% back extra on a fold gift card. So you don't actually get any sats back on the purchase you just made, but you get an extra 2% on the next fold gift card you buy um, w within the next like 20 or 24 hours. Um, and then there's a referral match, which uh, you have a 17.50% chance of winning. It's 100 um, Satoshis for a premium. And then that's times it by a maximum of 20 referrals. So if you get 20 referrals, you can earn up to 2,000 Satoshis if you land on referrals match. Um, and then deposit match, a lot of people like, uh, is um, it would be a chance of winning is 5%, but basically it is that um, in the past 30 days, if you loaded up 5,000 in deposits, then um, it would be 5,000 times four, which is 20,000 Satoshis. So if you land on this, you can get paid out 20,000 Satoshis. Um, although the chance of winning is pretty low, but the payout's really, really good. Um, and then there's also the one Bitcoin bonus. So 0.01% chance of winning. So basically a one in 10,000 chance of winning. And also it's only one Bitcoin per promotion period. So every two weeks, only one person can win the Bitcoin. Um, and also, one thing I want to mention is that, uh, as you can see, um, basically all of these rewards are kind of just at random and you can't really, I mean, the ones you can take advantage of to maximize your Satoshi's earned, for example, is largest purchase match. Make sure you have a really large transaction in the last 72 hours. So if you land on this one, you get paid out, you know, 25,000 Satoshi's. Another thing is referrals match. Make sure you refer 20 people to get as much Satoshis as possible. Deposit match. Make sure you deposit $5,000 every month to make sure you can get paid out the 20,000 Satoshis. And then, yeah, so those are kind of in your, um, in bas basically you can adjust how many, the basically the rewards you earn, you can adjust, you can change yourself. Um, you're in control of how many sats you earn on those three. Um, all right. Now that I've talked about that, um, I'm going to be um, telling you guys um, basically what the 3% back average um, means. So the 3% back average does not mean that you personally will average 3%. It means that using the premium card will average 3% altogether. So what that means is that some people may average 6% back while others may average 1% back or less. And when you add up every person's average altogether, then the average fold card holder holder will um, receive 3% back. So here is what the terms and conditions say um, about the percentage back part. So um, it says that the average rewards rate is calculated at the beginning of each sweep six period by dividing the expected value uh, of earnable rewards on qualifying purchases by all card holders by the expected value of qualifying purchases by all card call uh, by all card holders. Um, the actual reward rates you may earn may vary from the average rewards rate listed. Your actual rewards will vary depending on several factors, including events you are in control of, such as the frequency with which you spin the wheel, events outside of your control, as such as what rewards you win, 
and how much at your actions aligned with a prize when you won, such as the amount of your deposits if you win the 2x deposit bonus and in um, events outside of your control, such as the price of Bitcoin at the time the reward is won. So um, basically it is just saying that, oh, and by the way, all qualifying purchases, that includes gift card purchases. So to um, get the 3% closer to the 3% average rewards, um, you have to be buying gift cards as we can see that Fold Plus member pricing um, boost on Amazon gift cards. Uh, if you guys get the intro or premium debit card and you buy a gift card through Fold with their debit card, you actually get a higher percentage compared to using any other card. Um, so that is included in the 3% average. This includes buying gift cards in the app, not just single, just not, not only off the spin wheels. Um, all right, so I calculated all the transactions I could see in my history page and only counted the Satoshis earned from spins. And also I didn't include any transactions that had holiday wheels uh, spin rewards on it either as the holiday rewards were paying out really high for early access users. So I'm keeping it only to spin rewards that are more likely to show up on the wheel again for normal wheels. All right, so I am personally averaging 2.22% back with this debit card. Um, as I've spent $1,215.13 and I've earned 72,609 Satoshis and that is currently worth around $27.07 while Bitcoin is worth around 37000 So some of these rewards were paid to me back when Bitcoin was fifteen to 20000 So my average percent back is also a bit skewed due to Bitcoin going up in price since November, December area. So technically I may be averaging a bit less than 2.22%. But um, moving on, I want to discuss the things that I like and dislike with the card now. And you guys can go in and look at all these details. And um, another thing is, as of right now, premium members get 10% um, annual high yield on rewards. Um, and intro gets 2%. They actually may be removing the rewards, the annual high yield and rewards. I'm not too sure, though, um, as it's still in early access. So we'll see what stays and what goes. All right. So one thing that I like is that the Fold team is um, very active and involved and listens to feedback and suggestions with early access users. And the CEO of Fold, um, Will Reeves, is literally talking to early access users in their Discord, which is a very unique user or unique experience. Um, I've even talked to him and everything and, you know, discussed the card and rewards and things about like what could be changed and stuff. And it's, it's really cool. Um, Although once this rolls out to the public, then this may be harder to do, but at least it shows how serious the full team is at wanting to perfect this card as much as possible in the early stages. And another thing is, um, another thing that I like is that it is paid out directly in Bitcoin and also that you can win, win one Bitcoin from a spin with a 0.01% chance, so a one in 10,000 chance. Um, sometimes I like using my full debit card over my other crypto debit cards, even though I know I'll, I'll most likely get a higher percentage on the other ones, um, as those are flat rates and fold is um, variable rewards. And uh, sometimes I like using the fold over those simply because of being able to win one whole Bitcoin. Um, while I know the other ones, yeah, I might get 5% back every time, but it's like, well, it doesn't give me a chance to win one full Bitcoin, right? Um, but sometimes it's not worth it. Uh, sometimes I'm like, you know what? I'm most likely not going to win one Bitcoin on this purchase of like, you know, $1,000. So might as well get 5% back so I don't accidentally screw myself over, um, which uh, I'll be discussing how that could happen in, in a sense uh, a little bit later. So, uh, all right. So now on to my dislikes. So it would probably be um, my average percent back for purchases being at only 2.22% uh, as I have other cards that pay like um, 4 to 5%. Uh, in my crypto debit cards. Um, and another thing uh, that I dislike is that you have to go and read the new spin wheel terms and figure out how to get the most for your money to maximize your rewards. It's kind of like playing a game every two weeks. And um, for me though, I personally have the time to do this and I actually enjoy doing it. But I say it as a dislike because for mass adoption, um, people do not have the time to worry about what's on the new wheel and things like that to prevent themselves from getting screwed over as um you know adults have pretty busy lives so they don't have the time for that um and which 
brings me into variable rewards. So one thing that can be, and this isn't a dislike or like, but one thing that can be viewed as a pro or con is the var variable rewards as someone could technically um, only buy something for $5 and win $8 in Bitcoin. Or someone could buy an item worth over $2,000 and get 0.25% back. So some people pr prefer flat rates as variable rewards can be very annoying. And usually bad experiences always outweigh the positive when it comes to remembering these things. Um, I feel like people are less likely to remember paying $5 and winning $8 compared to paying $2,000 and getting like $1 back or something like that. Um, so um, another thing is that people may see this as a childish gimmick of gambling as the rewards for the most part are out of your control but others may enjoy the gamble part to it as a fun, entertaining, interactive debit card. Um, I personally like gambling and things like that, so I actually like um, the variable rewards. Um, and another thing that can be seen as a pro or con is that there is no coin lockups. So some may find that as a negative, some people might, but some people um, may find it as a positive. Uh, if you like to invest in altcoins and also get a good debit card with perks along with it, then this card isn't for you. Um, but for Bitcoin maximalists, this card's perfect because, you know, they only invest in Bitcoin. They think Ethereum's a scam and they think pretty much everything other than Bitcoin is a scam. So um, with that being said, they would prefer this fold premium debit card. It's perfect for them. But if you like altcoins and other cryptocurrencies and stuff like that, you may prefer um, either Swipes, debit card, or Crypto.coms, which I will be... Um, in another video talking about uh, swipes, debit cards as well. So overall, what is my opinion on the Fold debit card? So I personally like it. I like the vari variable rewards. I like the spins. Um, I like that it changes every two weeks and stuff. Um, I mean, you can also get 5% up to $500 a month on Amazon. So that's really good. Uh, you can win one Bitcoin. You know, I really like that. Um, annual fees, not too much, especially with the $50 Bitcoin signup bonus and how that works. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, do if I were to compare it, um, well, I already have the Icy White debit card, so I would rather use that for larger, larger purchases. But for smaller purchases, I would use the Fold Premium debit card. Um, Although sometimes the fold premium debit card can work better if you only do large transactions. So it really depends on what the spin wheel rewards look like at the time. Um, personally, um, I would rather not risk doing like over $1,000 transactions or maybe even over $200 to $500 transactions on the premium debit card. Um, when you have literally, like, as you can see, you have a chance to get 0.25% back. So at that point, I would use my IC white debit card. And so, yeah. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And one last thing is if you use my referral for Fold down in the description, um, I'm actually going to be using my um, dad's Fold referral so he can get closer to accessing the premium um, debit card in early access. Uh, as I already have 20 referrals, and that's pretty good. I don't really need more, um, especially since they... Uh, made the max amount uh, a maximum of 20 referrals so i feel like they're always going to cap it at, at least to around there um so um if you do use the referral though um that just means that my dad will get put farther ahead in their for the early access card if i were to use my referral i would just possibly if they up this to 25 then i'd be able to get more satoshis if i landed on like referrals match um but for you, if you use my uh, my dad's referral in the description, you will receive um, free Satoshis. I think 5,000 Satoshis. It used to be 20,000, um, but that was when Bitcoin was around $10,000. So I think they lowered it to 5,000 Satoshis. But it's better than nothing because if you signed up by yourself, then you will not receive um, any free Satoshis. So might as well use my referral down in the description. All right. See you guys later in the next video, but also one last thing. Let me know in the comments down below if you are also using the Fold debit card or if you plan on getting it or what your opinion is on it and what you think about it. And let me know if you think it's better than the Crypto.com and the Swipe debit cards or any other um, crypto debit cards out there. All right. 
Uh, see you guys later. <laughs>